Okay, so I'm recording again. I'm going to the Jitsi Meet. Okay, sorry guys. So the part library should have all the, the parts that we use. And as I speak, is someone trying to correct that one to 14 inch? We've got, and we also are going to need a 9 inch blocking. So let's generate it too. There's 9 inch blocking. Um, we got 8 foot pre cut stud, 9 foot pre cut stud. We don't have to worry about that under header stud st for now. Split blocking, blocking 8.5. We know we use that in one place, and we need blocking 9 inches. We've got top plate and short top plate. And with that, the only, only thing we're actually missing is the 2x4, which goes into one of the corner modules. And once we get into the interior modules, we need the equivalent of here in 2x4s. Uh, so you can, you can, take the can you do a 2x4 pre-cut stud? Uh, yeah. Put it into this library. Yeah. Let's do it right now. Ken, can you do a 2x4 9 foot? So you do, do, do 8, you do 9 pre-cut, 2x4. No, wait, 9 foot pre Yeah, we need that. 9 foot pre-cut, 2x4. Uh, Jeff, you up? Can you use pre-cut? Not really. Not yet. Um, I just sent you a request to build on that. Oh, it's not edible? No. That's evil. It should be, yeah. If you scale it in one axis, it should change it. Okay, so this dock should be edible. Prince, can you do a 2x4 top plate? 48 inches, just 2 by 4 lumber. Okay. Thank you. So now we covered a couple more parts. We also need a 9 inch blocking. I'll work on that. So we'll see, like we've got three parts being seeded, four. Uh, that's all we need for the basic parts. So let's do that. Let's spend five minutes on it right now. Upload it to a library, the architecture library. Um, so I'm going to go to my free CAD. I see. Let, let, let me, um, oh, there. Oh, there I am. Did, um, wait, I joined twice, so I cut out of that one. So I'm going to share, share my screen so if someone wants to look at the generation process. So new doc, part design. I need nine inch blocking. XY plane. Oh, let's just put it in the corner. What what exists? You say the two by four nine foot. Where is it? Oh, it's already there. In the uh, where? Let's see. What is it? Nine foot three cut. So architecture part library, do we have a two by four? No, we got two by two by sixes. Two by four is different. That's two by fours are interior walls. So we need a two by four eight foot and a two by four nine foot pre cut. And the four footer, that's the top plate prints maybe. So let's try it. Um, I'm going here at this. That's going to be 1.75. This is going to be 9 inch. So there, close. There, 1.5. Done. So now we've got it. So we got a 9 inch blocking. Now, uh, take a little picture of it.
So, uh, file. So, I'm now seeding the part library. I'm just going to copy that. So, so blocking, nine inch blocking. Okay, so I just added the 9 inch blocking. Processes do the sketch, extrude it, upload it to the part library using the template. If you click edit, you see the syntax of it. 9 inch blocking. There we go. So you see the 9 inch block. If you refresh the wall module part library, uh, I did the 9 inch blocking. Um, had a discussion on go to the first page of the 120 design lessons working doc sure. and go to corner wall and go to click on long so go into this document and it says nine inches it explains the nine inches and the 8.5 inches so these are corner mod the play modules and the corner modules okay. that's been corrected and we kind of beat that up in a workshop before there, why one of them is 8.5 and why of them, why one is nine. So, um, but that's just what it turns out. Uh, just one little discrepancy here. So if you see Katarina's doc, she's using two by fours. We're using two by four split in half to save on, on lumber. Uh, both could be used. The difference is a few hundred dollars. For the overall house cost. It's not, not even a few hundred, it's probably like a hundred bucks difference. So the doc that Paul just asked about, I mean, that's that's the ultimate reference. You just need to know. Yes, except for exact heights of the of the blocking location, which we'll go through. Let's let's go through that. What do we have in that doc for for the actual height? Uh, the height is not stated, right? The height of the blocking that was the critical part we had to figure. Um, right. So this document is very much incomplete. 
because it doesn't tell you how high on the panel the blocking lays. Okay. So, how far are you guys? There you go. Upload it. Upload it to the part library. Chris, how far are you? About to upload it. Good. Ken? Okay. So while you do that, Foot pre it got pre cut or or just eight foot? Got to um, do pre cut. You didn't do pre cut? No, I didn't. We need pre cut because it's a between top top and bottom plate. So it's less than eight. Uh, Google length of Google length of two by four pre cut. We're just adding a couple of parts so that now we can generate all the modules much more quickly. Okay. So these guys are just uploading. I uploaded mine. They're just <laughs> uploading. We're waiting for them to upload their parts so we can use them. Okay. And how did you know they were missing other than that you look at Katarina's file and you use uh, one for there? Yeah, I saw that there's some missing. Like I saw that there was no 2 by 4 four pieces. Two by fours I know are used with on the inside walls, interior walls. Sure, there are two by six pieces. There's two by sixes and two by fours. That's only two types of lumber we use for the walls. Uh, so it's a very low part count. We're not using like them two by eights or anything else. Just two types of lumber.
Uh, okay, did that help any? So I put placeholders for the eight foot pre cut studs. Nine foot pre cut stud. And two by fours. Did you guys see that? I can see it. Is there, can you, you can add another one for us to do? Just because I, I don't see, it's not obvious to me that which one is missing. Uh, yeah, the missing ones were allocated, so Prince, are you uploading? We, we did like three, so we're just waiting real quick for the... For the okay. Where is it? It's a uh, 2 by 4 plate. Top plate? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It might have, oh. 2 by 4 top plate. There you go. So, uh, I'm just going to check that real quick. So, Prince just uploaded his into the part library. And I use the same image as the 2 by 6 plate. I didn't have, yeah. All right. Uh, four top plate. Let's see. So what do we got? Four dimensions. Yeah, it's forty-eight by two inch. No, it's two by four. Is not exactly that. You've got four two by four. It's one point five by three point five. <clears throat> That's the only thing. Um, let me ch change that real real quick. I'm gonna do that. Uh, That's the, how you're talking about how it comes comes different. Yeah. Comes okay. different than what it's called. Okay. Unfortunately, so it's 1.5 by uh, 48 by 3.5. Cool. Um, so we got that. I'm gonna save that and upload over yours. Okay. So upload a new version of this file. Choose file. For top plate. So that should be, should probably be the correct one. And we'll verify that later because if, if it doesn't look right for people. Um, remember that 2x4s are 1.5 by 3.5, 2x6s are 1.5 by 5.5. Yeah. What about the um, the eight foot two by four? Is that how far off from eight feet is that? Google it. I'm, I've tried. Oh. I can't find it. <laughs> okay. What you got to do is okay. So eight footers can be about eight, eight plus minus like hardly plus like three eighths. But no, you got to Google precuts eight foot precut stud length. Okay. It's called precut stud. Okay. Two by four precut stud. You're gonna find that. Two by four, two x four, pre-cut stud length. I'll tell you it's ninety-two and five eighths. Yeah. Um, so okay, well, let's go. I'm gonna start on um, the process of doing a complete wall module from scratch, since that's core of your wall module design badge. Yes, sir. So take a look at my screen. Okay, where is my free cat though? I don't want to crash again. Uh, I don't know where it went, but I'm going to go to... Let's see, maybe I stop sharing for a second. Um, well, I'm going to open up my free cat app, app image again. Because somehow my free cat's disappearing on me. Yeah, that's happened to me too. Huh. After you cl close it? Yeah, okay. So, whatever's going on there, I got free cat opened up again. So, I'm going to share my screen. So, now this is, the pr this is core. So, this is the process for downloading parts from the part library and composing designs such as the wall module. The, part, the point about the part library is that you know you have admissible parts. So that work of selecting parts has already been done for you, and therefore you know you're starting on the right foot with the right parts. So I'm going to start that. Um, I'm going to open up. I'm going to have to go first to, to the part library on the wiki.
and I'm going to download all the relevant parts. Now, let's see for a 2 by 2 by 6 the standard exterior module. You have to get oriented about what parts exist in it. What parts do exist in it? The best thing to look at is this instructional. This one here. Katrina's pictures of the wall module. Okay? Well, I know that from memory. That's For me, that's easy to say that, okay, I know... I know a few things about it. It's got such and such components and where are those so I'm just going to start downloading from the architecture part library so I'm going to go to uh, I know it has a nine foot pre-cut stud I'm going to download that and that's from Ken yes yeah, two by six. Oh no but you did the two by four you did two by four okay uh, two by four so that's the wrong one I got to do I got to pick up another one which is, it's towards the end, the 9 foot 2 by 6 pre-cut stud. Um, so yeah, the first one is the 4 inch version, this is the 2 by 6. So I'm going to take this one down, I'm going to download it, 9 foot pre-cut. Okay, so that, that got downloaded. What else do I need? I need a top plate, the 2 by 6. There it is, it's this top plate, which is also the bottom plate, top and bottom plate downloaded. Uh, I'm going to have, all I'm going to have is the is the blocking, the simple 14 inch blocking. Uh, now has that been corrected? So this one here we were correcting, this one should be the 14 inch blocking. Uh, so I'm going to download that. And if it hasn't been updated then please do so. Uh, who was working on that? Oh, did anyone take the blocking? Nobody took the blocking? So, I'm going to download it anyway. I'm going to change it. I'm going to re-upload it. So I'm going to open up here, blocking. And I'm going to just measure that real quick and see... Oh, that is, oh wait, that's the wrong one, that's a, that's a nine inch, I don't need that. What I do need is a 14 inch. Oh wait, so that's, that's the wrong file then, that's up there. Two by four, no, this one should be at the split. 2 by 4 blocking 14 inch. That's That sounds right to me. Uh, let's download this. Okay, so I'm blocking split 2 by 4. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this one. That was the 9 inch. I'm gonna open up Blocking two by four. Blocking split by this one right here. So do I have fourteen inches here? No, that's that's the that's wrong. So let's change this real quick. I'm gonna just go into part design and chop off half an inch. I'm gonna put a sketch on that face. So one trick you can use, you can either start from scratch or you can you can uh, chop off one inch. So I'm going to just say, okay, that's going to be like one half inch, 0.5. I just got to do that. Now, I'm just going to measure again here and make sure that this measurement here is accurate. So I'm going to go corner to corner. And it's telling me 14.489, yeah, it's pretty much exactly 14.5. Uh, so I'm going to know that if I put that right on the edge here, 
uh, with that side being half an inch, I'm going to trim off a half inch off the 14.5 inches. So I'm, I'm just going to do this real quick. So there you go, close, pocket it. Did that work? So now I should have a 14 inch. Just measure that again. Yeah, it's 14 inches now. So I'm going to save that. So 2x4 blocking. Let's, let's make sure I'm saving the right thing. So 14 inch blocking. So I'm going to upload that. Um, upload this file. Okay, so now we've got this uploaded 2x4 blocking. Well, actually, uh, I do one more thing here. This we should actually make, I typically, what I do there is go into part, workbench, and I go uh, on that pocket there, what I do is I make a simple copy. So I click on the pocket, go into part, and do create simple copy. What that created is something that doesn't have the sketch underneath it so that I simplify the part tree because once you once you have a bunch of parts in your part tree it's kind of confusing so I'm going to do that I'm going to say 14 inch 14 inch blocking I'm going to label it properly so I did that and I'm going to go back to re-upload that because now you have an easy no sketch thing it's going to be less than 7k the last one with the sketches was 7k so if you're actually talking about huge files, this is important for file size management. Uh, so I'm going to do that, and it goes back down to 3K without the sketch on it. See? But there it is. It's got the proper part. It's useful to have that the proper label on it, so when you're inputting that into your working doc, you're putting in something that has a sensible part name already, and you can identify it. So if I click on that, yeah, that's the 14-inch blocking. Um, good, so that's uploaded, but I'm going to start with, I don't want this, um, I'm going to close this file down. I want to start with simplicity, like to say the top, I'm going to start with the top and bottom plate, so I'm going to go open up the top plate. Here it's important to have to use descriptive part names if you're working with a part library. So before we go further, let's actually go into the part library and clean it up because that will help you not get confused when you actually when all of us are working on our files. Um, so what we want to do is go into each one of these files, how about we do this, uh, each, each person take, take one, download it, if it's not named in a part tree properly, or if it's got sketches in it, remove them by going to the part workbench and saying create simple copy. That way you're, you're reducing the errors in this whole process if people downloading your file, maybe they downloaded the whole thing and the name wasn't clear or there was like an extra sketch and they could they got lost in a part tree, they couldn't identify immediately that that's the wrong part. So it's just, just bookkeeping here. Um, so let's, let's go down the road here and clean up the part library right now. Let's do this as an exercise. So uh, Odundo, take 2x4x9 by by pre-cut stud can take the 2x4 by, I'm going down a row in the module part library, 2x4, 8 foot pre-cut. Wes, can you do the 2x4 top plate? Yeah. Then pull 2x6 short, 2.5 top plate. Uh, Brian, you got, got free cut? No, not yet. I'll do it with Paul. Yeah, yeah watch him how he does it. 2x6 top plate, Joshua. Next one is nine inch blocking. Got it, Prince. Um, 
Think you can do that? Yeah. I'll do the uh, ordinary mode people who wants to take short blocking split two by four. Speak up, remote. Um, can someone from remote do that one? Oh, uh, Martian, I think they can't hear you. They can't? Oh, man. Yeah, the chat. Ah, sorry, guys. Um, oh, man. Yeah, let me know as soon as that happens when people can't hear me. Uh, I missed it. But we are... You guys didn't hear what I was saying. Um, but what we're doing is we're doing the simplification of each part. So I'm going to take... Um, out of the part library. I'm going to take the short blocking, download it, and open it up. The name of the sketch and then the actual part. So, how do you do the simple set? Set from what's the command and where you're at? I can't even open up free code now. Um, well, how about free code 17? I'm just working 17. Oh, wait. Oh, that is? Oh, that's 16. Okay. Um, So short blocking. Um, what we're doing is, if it doesn't have a simple part, we are simplifying it by removing the sketch within part by doing part create simple copy. But that's already a simple copy. So what I need to do now? I'm going to label that more descriptively. I'm going to say that's 8.5 inch blocking. I'm going to just resave that and re-upload it just to clean up the part the part library. So short blocking, upload a new version. Yeah, from, go from part design to part. Okay, there's short blocking. Choose file. That's it. Um, so we got the short blocking. So going back to architecture part library, let's see if I have all that I need. Um, Two by six pre cut stud. I'm going to clean up my desktop here a little bit. That may be all right if that's if you have done it. Uh, which part? Pre-cut stud. Uh -huh, so let me see if the pre-cut stud. Let's see if I see any issues with that, for example. Okay. 
what um, um, free cuts, uh, yeah. Well, you've got everything in there, and you and you're using free cut 19. Yeah, uh, it looks like. I have it so use 16 uh, and get rid of everything. You got. You see what you see. Okay. After you you make a simple copy, delete in the part tree everything before that. Just delete it. What you do with that is is you delete the information. But for file management, that's what you want to do. file size management. If you're gonna get a part that's got thousands of these, because a full house model is gonna have like a thousand of these or thousands. At that point, you want that file to be like a mag instead of 10 mag or, or 10 mag instead of 100 mag. 100 mag, you're not going to be able to open. 10 mag is like perhaps a limit, a nice, really good functional limit. You want to keep it down to a few mag, otherwise it just gets slow. Uh, you definitely lose information, but you've got that old version in the, in the part, library history. So if you want to modify it, you can go by going back in the history. So, in this, just delete everything. So, Ken, why don't you do that? Delete everything before that. Because imagine that, like now, you inputted one part and it's got all this trash in the, in the, in the part tree. It's got the XY plane, XZ plane, YZ plane. That's, that's artifacts from FreeCAD 19. That's why I don't want to use, use FreeCAD 19. Because you can't simply see this is what I have. It throws in all this other information into the part tree, and you can't really handle it effectively. Once I mean, once this document is going to have you know a thousand parts, good luck trying to find anything in the part tree. If you get rid of all that, you you still have some chance. Freecad 19 is a no go. For for novices, for novices, no go. It's not a no go altogether. It's it's no go if you want to do certain things like simplify things. Like if you want entry level workflow where a person can learn more quickly, you would want FreeCAD 16. Um, can we use FreeCAD 19 and save both files and work for them? You can, but clean them up. Uh, there might be some. The only thing about that is you might get some incom incompatibility. Some sometimes you might not be able to open it in 16. So that's the limit of that. Um, So, okay, so now re-upload that. Okay, but let me, let me show a process of, ver of doing the whole module where I just download the three parts. I only need the top plate, the, the nine foot pre-cut, and the blocking, just three parts. So I'm gonna go through that. Going back to the architecture part library. I'm going to pick 2x6 top plate. I'm going to pick 9 foot pre cut. I'm going to do 14 inch blocking. And if they're not going to be correct, I'm going to do it in the process. I'm going to, I'm going to just re-upload and re-save if I don't like what I find under those files. So this one we can get rid of. Okay. So now I'm going to open up, let's say, the top plates. I'll work around the top plates. I can kind of think about that. Yeah, and so top plate, that's good. The, the part name is good there. I'm just measured to verify, making sure I'm doing it so I don't have to restart. So it's 48, as you see. Uh, sounds good to me. So I'm going to just make just control C, control V, put in another one, and I'm going to go. So I just did control C, control V within the document. I got a bottom plate, so I'll, I'll name it bottom plate. bottom plate and then I'm going to go since I they're all superimposed right now I'm going to go into I hit O for orthographic projection this is P that's perspective that's orthographic switching between the two 
uh, for, for moving things around, go orthographic projection. So here we go to that move workflow, which I showed the other day, which is go, go into the view, view window and then use the move tool. So I'm going to move it down about eight feet or so. It's about there. I don't care about where it is right now. I'm just going to align it manually. So now let's, let's merge. This is the merged workflow, merge project. Nine foot pre-cut. Great. It's on edge right now. All I need to do is move it. Oh, let's make a couple of copies. I know we need three of them for to all together. So there, there they all are. Now let's let's merge the blocking. File merge project. Blocking. Uh, well, before I go further on uh, pre-cut, I just want to make sure. Let me just verify that the size of that is right. So I'm going to go corner one corner to another 104.595 yeah it's it should be 104.625 I believe that's it that's I believe that <coughs> and then for the blocking just measure that just make sure it's Actually, I'm hiding the, the other ones because uh, in case that ran into the other ones. So spacebar hides things. It's a very useful thing. I'm measuring this short blocking here. And it's still 14.5. Um, <clears throat> that means what's wrong with that game here? I think I'm actually running into... I, I re-uploaded it, so... I think I'm actually running into a bug on the wiki where I've noticed that sometimes when I download it, and it's only on my computer, you guys will download the proper thing. Like if you downloaded this blocking, you probably would download the 14 inch version, but I'm not. So what I'm going to do is some kind of a caching error. So I'm going to just try to re-upload it and I can't, I can't, I don't know what to do on it. I, what I do, my workaround is I re-upload another file and then download the second file in the set. So I know I want this one, but it was always taking me to the file below it. So hopefully now let's see, let's see if that worked. So if I merge this file that I just downloaded. <coughs> this long one. Yeah, you see that? I just downloaded that long, little long. Wait, I, I did the wrong thing. I gotta erase this one. We want 14, <coughs> so we're gonna erase the 14.5. <coughs> this error fixes itself if I wait like a day, like t tomorrow. I'd be able to download the correct file, but I don't know how to make it cache properly or whatever. Refresh to get download the latest file. My computer. You guys shouldn't have a problem with it. Okay. The 14 inch would also come out in the wash. If I if I put the studs in the correct place, you'll see that the 14 inch, inch blocking should be touched right against the studs. So that's also how you would know if, if you, say, downloaded the wrong thing. So you kind of can verify that. What do we know here? We know it's going to be 48 by 9 feet, but it's going to be a little shorter than 9 feet by 3 eighths of an inch. You have top and bottom play, that means the pre-cut stud is 9 feet, minus 3 inches, minus 3 eighths inch in length. So, so, so all those things I keep in the back of my mind, but this all should li line up to 48 by almost 9. I'm going to erase some of the distances from my... I'm going re to review, see the unhide all the parts and I'm going to go into one plane that's convenient to work in and then orthographic projection and I'm going to just move these into place so I'm going to go make sure I'm in, a, in the draft workbench I'm going to view window and just start moving stuff around and it takes it takes a minute so what do I do there I move that one I want to move this one so click on the one you want to move and then move it So 
so just manually doing that. Um, oh, so so where do you put the second one? This is actually uh, realistic towards how you would build it. Um, well, if you have the blocking already pre-cut, why not use that blocking to space out your vertical studs? So actually, in order to practice how you actually build it, I would what I would do is actually build the whole frame. So let's let me actually do that. Uh, to simulate the actual build process, I'm going to do that. I'm going to put this one here. It does have some level of snapping there, so if I pick up that corner, it's going to probably snap to that corner. <clears throat> cool. So I'm just going to move them into place. Let's say this one going down to here. There we go. Yeah, there you go. So now with the blocking, I can uh, use that as a spacer. See, it wants to put it there because it wants to snap. But that will get me to the the vertical studs. So I'm going to do that there. I'm going to do that one there. I'm going to put in a third one. one so there I got them. now the question is so I'll measure so I save that well actually what would be useful to save is just the top plate bottom plate and two of the studs which are the right ones these ones these four since everyone's going to use this, let's see it for everybody. So control C. Well, first I'm going to verify, is this really the 95, not 95, but 107, 5 eighths? No, because I got top plate and bottom plate added to 104 and 5 eighths. Um, what am I doing there? Close. So the, the whole top, remember that the studs are in between, so they're three minus that nine foot length. So let's get that dimension. So I'm gonna take this point and the top point, and what am I getting? I got 107.621, yeah, that's it. It should be 107.625. That's just a tad under 108, the full nine feet. That is correct. So I'm gonna take Take top plate, bottom plate, and these, these four, and then just control C, control V into a new document. And say that as the frame. It's like outer frame. Outer nine foot frame. And here we want to clean up the, the to make it all nice, top plate bottom plate, nine foot pre-cut stud. So this is now, um, see it disappeared on me, so I go into view and standard views fit all. Okay, so I'm gonna call that the left, left edge stud. Rename. Left side. Oh, left side stud. And then rename that right side stud. Now, but that's four parts in the part tree. I'll save that anyway in case people want to mess with that. So I'll go. What's the process for that? I'm going to go into the architecture part library and go into the wall module module library because this is more than parts now, it's modules. So I'm going to go into this, just take a little screenshot of it, uh, like on the side, so, so it doesn't look so boring. Uh, 
So that's my frame. <coughs> Just use a screenshot and then upload it here. So what I do here is in this nine foot frame. So this is nine foot frame. Nine foot, I'll call this the nine foot outer frame. And I could uh, upload that. So that's the nine foot frame. So outer length of frame is here. And then put the picture of it here. And it tells you, always tells you these messages, thinks you're doing the same file because it's got a similar file name, so say ignore it and save anyway. So there it is, it's got that. Um, but so I you know, if that's the frame that a lot of people will use for different purposes, because we know the cor long corner modules are going to use this frame and the regular modules are going to use this frame. Also, window modules are going to use this frame. So let's make it simple. Let's collapse this further. So the part tree is going to have four parts. Um, but let's simplify it going to the part just to keep accounting easy. like. You'll appreciate it down the road when you can actually read your part tree and see what's in there. Um, so take all of that and part workbench, go into part, create simple copy. Well, they're already simple copies, so so make compound. We'll just delete that. Um, take that and part, make compound. Now this compound's got all that trash in there right now. It's one part but it's got all this stuff in there. So now make a simple copy of the compound. Uh, and actually right now, what's the file size? Just, just to observe that, before we make a simple copy of it, the file size is gonna be, what is the outer nine, nine foot frame? Properties, it's like 11K. After I make a simple copy, it should probably decrease a little bit. So, part, we did the compound, create simple sh simple copy now. And I'm going to erase the compound. And that erased compound split into those four original ones, which are now erasing now. I just got this compound with no history. It's a dumb object. So let's save it. And then let's see what our file size is now. Properties went down to, by a factor of 2 to 5K this thing. So now I'm going to save this, upload this again over the former, and I wanted to save the the one with the four pieces anyway, just in case somebody wants to mess with it. Uh, but here I'm just uploading a new version of it. And now we've got the simple object that's easily visible in part tree, uh, which will be used in windows, doors, uh, not exactly doors, because doors have a bottom cut out. So windows, all the different windows are going to use this and some of the corner modules. Um, not all the windows, this is a 9-foot module, but 8-foot windows will use a different square frame. So we've got that. Okay, so let's just go back to finishing up one, one of these. So I'm going back, um, back to my document. Well, actually... Uh, since I want to keep it simple, I'm going to just copy that one into into my other document. Like I'll copy that into here. Did it copy that? Yeah, it did copy that. So so top, I'm going to just erase, you know, out of this here already. I'm going to erase that because I've got this compound here, which is my my frame. Well, I should actually title this properly because yeah. Uh, so I actually want to re-upload. So this is the outer frame. Rename that in my other document. Outer frame. Uh, outer nine foot frame. 
so I'm keeping good track of it. I'm going to go back to re-upload that because um, that will help. So outer nine foot frame, save that. Yeah, so now it should be that that with the proper name in there. There, so outer nine foot frame got pasted in there. So I got this one piece that's gonna be like that. Now you, that's what you got there. So it simplifies this. Um, yeah. So continuing, we got to find out where this blocking is going to end up at. And this is an exercise, like this would be for you to, how do you figure this out yourself? Where's that blocking going to be in terms of up and down on the panel? Uh, um, and the only way you can do it, you can calculate on a piece of paper, but, but what I would do here is, you know what's, what determines it, it's going to be the, the panel on the front so it's going to be draw yourself a four by eight panel and see where it ends up that's the easiest way to, to go about it so 48 inches on that and 96 inches on this one that's your exterior plywood and you see yes it's the panel is bigger than it now the only thing is down here we know that it sticks down one inch it's actually 1.1 I don't know why it's 1.1, we'll just do it 1.1. It um, was an artifact of why we made it 1.1. I don't remember what it was. So I'm going gonna, gonna to draw myself a line that's 101, that just, just a marker, just a pencil mark there. So I'm going to say 1.1 inches. That's how far i got to drop it down. So I'm just going to just use that as a marker. So now I'm going to take this one and drop it 1.1 inches to where that is, where that ends up. So it's like there. Um, and now I'm going to go pat it out. This is just a, let me see, where's that pad? What happened? What? Oh, okay. I didn't, do, didn't like it because I had this artifact here, which I'm going to erase. And now I'll close it and it still doesn't work. What's wrong with this? Um, let's try erasing that pad. Go into the sketch, and then pad it out again. Now, now it worked. Um, anyway, that's the, now I marked where that this these vertical these uh, blockings are going to be. So that's my pseudo panel. I'm going to make it transparent. So that's my that's that's how the outer sheeting would look like on this, right? So now that defines the upper blocking. So we'll take that blocking now. We're going to go into <clears throat> move that to the middle. So we're going back to draft, and then set yourself up in the view window, and then move it, and there you go. So you move it to. To uh, halfway, I'll grab it by the corner, zoom in. You could do it by eye; it's pretty fine. Um, you don't need to be perfect, since and, and I say that yeah, you can do constraints here and get it perfect, but you're not going to build it perfect. So why fool yourself in CAD? Uh, how do you? How do you uh, <laughs> That's my philosophy on it. How do you confine it to one dimension, or how do you flatten it to, to one two? Because I'm looking at it in three dimensions now, and like I can. Hit from hit button one two three four five six. Okay. Remember that. It's just rotating around all, all the pieces. It allows you to yeah. It shows just one one plane. Yeah, so I'm just moving it a little closer. If I can, I can't. I'm Control Z. Do that. that. That's good enough. Don't worry about it. Okay, so now we know in all of our models, that's where we're going to put those. Now, the question is, okay, what, what is that distance? Because this is what we're building, and I think this is what we already did, and just to verify what we did before, uh, 
how do we de how do we decide? No, we didn't wait. Did, how much blocking do? Yeah, we did do the blocking. Yeah. And how do we know where to put it? Because I think I gave that number right. But this is this is the process of how you derive that number. Derive it. Well, let's look at the other side of this thing. Um, oh yeah, uh, we did we did little spacer blocks and that. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, well, let's measure that because, yeah, we actually cut a block so we have an automatic spacer for measuring that. So let's see. Yeah, 10 and 3 eighths. Yeah, 10 and 3 eighths, which is about 0.385 or so. Yeah, it's about right. So, um, and that's probably a good thing to go, to go with. 10 and 3 eighths, we can write those pieces of information down as the critical ones. So we continue just to finish up finish up this panel here. So I, I'm gonna just control C control V and then one, two, three more. Um, so this one, I'm going to just move this one over to the next one. There. Move this third one, three, over to the next one. So there I go. Now the question is, how far down do you go on the other side? And we also got that. We, we had the number of nine, nine, wait. Uh, this was... Uh, 10 and 3 eighths at the top. So the bottom of the panel is where the drip edge is on the bottom. This is the front panel, right? So that's the front blocking. Now the back blocking is going to be 9 and a quarter. So I'll just mark that as far as um, I'll just put a little feature on that on this uh, use this as to mark it I'll just mark it using part <coughs> just put a feature on that just uh, I'll mark a little block here <coughs> that's going to be 9.25 okay and that's where my blocking is going to go uh, and how do we figure that out that point should be eight feet from the top and we can actually verify that but the blocking I'll just continue to just move it over so I copied a bunch of this blocking five six seven so click on five and then go back to your draft, make sure you're in the view window and move. So, so take, take this piece of blocking, where is it ending up? It's ending up right there. Oh, I can't see my mark. It's, um, in order to see my mark, I have to make the frame transparent because it's on the other side. Yeah, I have that mark there. Um, so anyway, m keep moving that over to the mark. Okay, this thing, I'm going to hide the front here because it's messing me up. And I'm going to move that over to here. Roughly. That's roughly good. Now that, because I'm in this back plane here, it doesn't, I, I still need to move it to forward a little bit later. I'll just uh, work in this plane right now that I'm in. But we know that there, the blocking is on the front side and the back side, so we know we got to move it to the opposite side later. So that's five. Blocking six is here. I'm actually, if I move this right now, it's actually going to move it, even though I'm not looking at it straight on, it's going to move it about the right place, but I can't really see where it's at until I go here to the flat view. 
uh, but it is moving us in a, in a plane I defined before. So I'm just going to move that over even with that one. It wants to snap at this place for some reason. I'm not really sure why it wants to snap there. It's probably snapping to itself or something. So I'll try that again. Yeah, it was snapping to itself. And then the last one, move that one over. Swan to slot snap to itself. Um, but I think that's good enough. There. So now, if you look at another view, the side view, you see all of them are down there. Now those are the three blockings I can select in the part tree. I know it's got to go up to the top there, so I got, I'll go into this new plane and move it over to the top. which I just did. Yeah, so now this is a correct entire module. So this is the this pad here, that's the, well, this sheet is not where it needs to, where it has to be, in, but the front would be this, where the blocking is at the top, and the back is this, where the blocking is at the bottom. Well, the front means if you look at the panel from the outside. So that's the process. To do it, we use the part library. Uh, I want to upload this. I'll, I'll erase all the other stuff from it, like my. Uh, well, let's just save this entire thing, outer nine foot frame, with all the wor work in progress stuff, just to have it because I got the. Just in case. I like to just save a lot, it doesn't take a lot of memory, so just save, like in case there's some stuff you want to go back to in there. Uh, nine foot frame. Wait, what is this? Is that outer nine foot frame? Oh no, I, actually, I'm see, I'm working in the wrong document there. The now this is called outer nine foot frame. I, I actually was working in the top plate document. So let me just resave that. That's that was the the whole panel. So I'm gonna upload that. So now that's uploaded, I should up update this picture to but I'll I'll get rid of this all this stuff like that. We don't need that. Those are markings. Um so that's my finish one. Oh I've got an extra blocking there, so get rid of that. There it is. Now, so I'm going to take a picture of it in this position. You can see that the blocking is on one side and on the other side here. And keep going with it visual version history there so I'm going to do nine foot um, panel just call it that just to change the picture